Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Leafs Player Profiles Point Projection. And on this edition, we are going to talk about T.J. Brody. So the Leafs finally find someone who can pair up with Morgan Riley. The best pairing defenseman Morgan Riley has had since Ron Hainsey. <laughs> the best defensive pairing partner he's had ever. <laughs> and it's another lefty. It worked before. It worked well with a defensive specialist. Brody's that man. Brody's that guy. Uh, he's from Chatham, Ontario. He's only 30. They've got him for, uh, what, till the 23-24, end of 23-24 season at 5 million. Heck yeah. For a guy who was drafted in 2008, fourth round, 114th overall by Calgary, he has had a great career so far. And I think he's going to see lots of success uh, on the right side of Morgan Riley. Yes, TJ Brody, welcome to the Toronto Maple Leafs. So I guess we'll, we'll go back to uh, whatever, let's see, 2006, 2007, why not? Um, so he's playing in the WOHL for the Leamington Flyers, 46 points in 43 games. He's a young kid, and then he gets to play 20 games for Saginaw, or Saginaw Spirit, if you want to say it. Four assists in 20 games, why not? One assist in three playoff games. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, first full season in the OHL for Saginaw, he has 30 points in 68 games. Follows that up with 50 and 63, plus nine points in eight playoff games in 08-09. 2009, 2010, starts with Saginaw, over a point per game, 23 points in 19 games. Heads to Barry for their playoff run, 33 points in 46 games, including 15 points in 17 playoff games. And then he makes his Calgary Flames debut in 2010-2011. So he does play three NHL games for Calgary, but the majority is spent in the AHL uh, with Abbotsford. Uh, the efforts repeat. He has 34 points in 68 games. Not too bad, Mr. TJ Brody. Uh, then, of course, 2011-2012, he plays only 12 games in the AHL, putting up three points. He plays 54 games in the NHL, 14 points, two goals, 12 assists. 2012-2013, obviously, um, this season he splits between the NHL and AHL. 35 games in the AHL, 20 points. Then he has 14 points in 47 NHL games for the Flames. Plays in the World Championship, has one assist in seven games. Then after that, he's a full-time NHLer. 2013-2014, we got 31 points. 14-15, 41 points, plus 11 points, or 11, uh, 11 playoff games, five points in 14-15. 2015-2016, as an assistant, 45 points in 70 games. Then the next season, it dips a bit to 36 points, though they do make the playoffs and he gets four assists in four playoff games. 2017-2018, it dips again to 32 and 73. 18-19, 34 and 79, plus in the playoffs again, two goals and five. Uh, games and then 2019-2020, 19 points in 64 games. So yes, it is a big drop. Um, but he has four assists in 10 playoff games for Calgary after, well, we all know they should have beat Dallas. They let that one game slip through and it, it ruined him, didn't it? So what's he going to do for Toronto? Now, all you can think of is TJ Brody. They showed that video clip is when he was a little kid and he went four for four in the uh, shooting accuracy challenge. Will he be able to do it for Toronto? The expectations aren't for him to score a bunch of points. It's for him to to just help out Morgan Riley, be that defensive specialist, support him. But at the same time, he can put up some points. I expect him to do uh, to do better than last year. He'll be in that range that he has been the previous three years, from 2016 to 2019, in that 30-point range. While playing with Morgan Riley, he might get a couple extra secondary assists, uh, but he's, his main goal is to allow Morgan Riley to skate, to flourish, and just be that defensive specialist that Toronto needs, and just to be that support that the uh, high-octane offense that Toronto has, just be the support for them. So let's go into our predictions for TJ Brody. So for Brody, if you look at like previous stats, um, assists are like from 2016 to let's say 2019. 
30, 28, 25. And the only difference in that 2018, 2019 season is because he had nine goals in that 25 games. That's why he still had those 30, the 34 points. Uh, his goals are like six, six, four, nine, last year, four um, in 64 games. So I'm going to be cautious in this one. I, do I think Brody can get 30 plus points? Yes. But um, I don't think he's going to be that big goal scorer. Uh, so I'm going to only have him at five goals. Yes, it's very cautious. Could I see him at seven? Of course. But I think I'm going to just put him at five goals for now. Uh, and to be safe with the assists, I'm going to I'm going to put it at 23. Uh, I think there'll be at times where he doesn't get that extra assist. Um, he'll be like the you know the fourth man. He'll start the play, go to like a nice little break out Riley up to a forward to someone else goal kind of thing. Um, so I'll miss out on some points there. So I have him at five goals and 23 assists, but it wouldn't surprise me if he had that higher um, ceiling for assists. He's somewhere between the 26 and 26, 27 range. Uh, but to be cautious, I'm gonna go five goals, 23 assists, four 28 points. But again, that's brilliant because that's all you need Brody to be is you want him to be that defensive specialist to support Morgan Riley. I'm going to keep saying it. Um, so there we have it. TJ Brody, 28 points. That's my prediction. Yes, it is a low prediction, in my opinion. It is low. I think he could end up with seven or eight goals. He could end up with 26, 27 assists and be well over 30 points. Let me know what you think down below. Please comment. Feel free to like. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the TJ Brody signing. Is it a good signing? Let me know about the term, the, uh, the cost, and what you think you'll do with Morgan Riley. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe. See you next time.